What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I want to talk about loot and also the level you are stuck at and ways to get higher but before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, hitting that like button is very much appreciated let's aim for 4000 likes, that would be absolutely insane okay so light level and how do you get more? Now I get questions thrown at me day in day out of how to reach a higher light level so let's start with guardians below that 365 light for you guys it's kinda simple grind heroic strikes as the blues bosses drop should elevate your light they drop between 2 and up to 8 blues at a time each one of these blues should drop gear sitting just above light score wise your currently equipped gear and this will for sure help you rank up I wish I could say it was quick, but it really ain't. Bungie patched the only real quick way, and that was the Omnuggle grind. The problem with them patching this is kinda a contradiction of how they go about making this game equal for people who grind the fuck out of it like me, and the people who can't play it for hours up an end due to work and school. Them patching Omnigal has done nothing but put a stop to people who can't grind the game as much, reaching a 365, but allowed everyone who does grind the game to abuse this grind and reach a 365 in a matter of hours the same amount of hours some people struggle to put in over the course of a week due to work and school leaving them way behind struggling to find light and this is a problem many are having and there ain't a real quick way of getting up higher in that light score so yeah heroic strikes do drop blues which will help you reach a 365 also legendary engrams as well when decrypted with the cryptarch they drop up to a 365 light score gear Arcan Forge is also a good way of reaching a higher light, with armor and weapons dropping up to a 365, but class items dropping way beyond that, up to a 385. But remember though, with the progressive light system in the game, loot will only drop near your current light score. So don't expect 385 drops when your current light score is a 355, as it just won't happen. Besides strikes, Arkham Forge and Legendary Engrams, you can also grind faction packages and also the gunsmith as they do drop gear which will help. Crucible too but that means you have to play Crucible and not many people want to do that. I would say as well grind exotic engrams using three coins but in all honesty I'd say save these engrams for when you reach a higher light than a 365 as in theory you'll be wasting them. Another problem with hitting that 365 light is a ghost and an artifact. Now ghost shells can drop from faction packages and ain't really hard to come across. The artifacts though can hold you back. There are a few ways to get them. The first is from skeleton key chests. Skeleton key chests spawn at the end of each strike, dropping exclusive loot as well as a possible artifact drop. Skeleton keys also drop at random from strikes. You can stack them up to five keys I believe, but what I'd do if I were you, if you only have one of these keys, I'd wait until the rest of your gear is at a 365 or thereabouts due to the fact the artifact could drop below a 365 if the rest of your gear is below that level. So if I were you, I'd save that one last key. Get your gear, that being weapons and armor, as close to a point of 365 as you possibly can before using that skeleton key. If you have more than one skeleton key then that's fine as these chests can also drop decent light leveled loot and can help you in your process of reaching a 365. Another way of getting an artifact is by ranking up Eris Morn. You can do this by grinding the Court of Oryx and if you get an Eris Morn bounty and complete it you can almost gain over half a rank with Eris Morn so it isn't even that bad. Another way you can get an artifact is if you are lucky and a rare or legendary engram decrypts into a legendary artifact. This has happened to me a few times as well and that is basically it for hitting a 365 light score. Now once you are here, which in my opinion it's easier to get to a 385 than it is to get from a 335 to a 365, there are numerous things you can do, the main one being the raid. This drops full 385 armor and a full set of 385 weapons, artifacts and even gold shells and much more. And also with the opportunity to get the 390 attack exotic pulse rifle, the Outbreak Prime. So yes, grinding the raid week in and week out on all three of your characters surely will get you a super high light score, pushing that 385 light. But beyond the raid, there are also a lot of other things you can do. A lot of the previous tips to reach a light score of 365 
also helping your goal target of 385, things like faction packages, these help a shit ton for the simple fact that you can pick between armour and weapons. What I do here is I save as many strange coins as I can within a week and just blow them all on Xur, spending 80% of them on heavy ammo packs and the rest on free of coins. Now 100 strange coins will allow you to buy 300 heavy ammo packs. Now 100 heavy ammo packs gives you one faction rank. So 100 strange coins will get you 3 faction ranks. So if you spend 300 strange coins, you can get 9 faction ranks, all dropping loot which will help you. Free of coins as well, and grinding exotics also help a shit ton. Here in my opinion, the best place to use this is at the end of the Iron 2 mission. Strap on them through your coins, kill the first two bosses, and simply kill yourself. Rinse and repeat until you've had enough, or you've got enough exotics. Simple as that. Also, Ark and Forge for class items are great. Crucible for weapons and I believe class items too. Strike exclusive loot from skeleton chests also helps. And on the weekend, if you enjoy PvP, you can always do Trials of Osiris. And it ain't really about getting to the lighthouse, it's about completing Brother Lance's Trials bounties, which ain't that hard to do. Also, end of game loot from Trials, win or lose, can be helpful. Just do the things I've mentioned and eventually we'll get to that 385 light score. Now once you are here, this is where things get real hard. And I believe it's Bungie's plan as they don't want people above this point as it means they will walk over the hard mode raid like they did the normal version. So once you are a 385, there is a limit of things you can do which drop that higher light scored gear. The raid doesn't drop anything besides the odd lucky exotic from a chest as all gear from buses maxes out at a 385 light score. But we have ways. Arc and Forge class items drop at a higher light score than 385. So this is a direct place for class items. Artifacts can come, as mentioned earlier, from skeleton chests, from strikes. Weapons and armors can drop from faction packages. Up to what I've seen, a 387. Ain't seen anything higher though, but that could be due to the fact of me being a 386 at the time of opening them. I don't see why they wouldn't keep going up to a max of 400 light, but I guess like I said earlier, Bungie may have kept it. Also, Trials of Osiris, as mentioned earlier, does drop higher than 385 gear, as I do believe PvP does as well, in the form of weapons. Now, I have had real high gear drop. I've had two 388s and one 389, and they've all come from this week's Nightfall. The absolute crazy thing is though, the highest piece of gear came from my lowest character, that being a 389 helmet which dropped on my 386 warlock. Now all three pieces have been infused into my hunter, that being my main character, and I'm now sitting just below a 388 light level, which is absolute crazy. So yes guys, you want 389 gear, or maybe even higher, do them nightfalls. And as you guys who do watch me on a regular basis know, normally Nightfalls are total ass for me, but this week really paid off big time. But yes guys, I hope this video helps out. Now I know a lot of the information in this video is known by a certain few, but if it even helps 10% of the people watching, it's been worth my time doing it. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do hit that like button, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for daily Destiny, turn on the notifications so you do not miss a video, and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.